How's everyone doing? Good, good. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time to be alive, to be a woman, to be a champion of women, to be an artist and creator, and what a beautiful time to have voice and to use your voice. Thank you, Alicia. And um, you guys, I think we should clap for that, right? <laughs> And so I want to welcome you to the National Museum of Women in the Arts, the only museum dedicated to women artists. I'm Milani Douglas, the Director of Public Programs. And I want to thank you for this important conversation between Sarah Lewis and Rhea Combs. What a pivotal time to talk about vision, justice, and visual literacy as an integral part of citizenship. Lewis and Combs are doing such important work in the intersection of art, photography, film, and social change. We are in for a treat. I've been looking forward to this conversation for quite some time. Both of our guests know about my um, uh, enthusiasm <laughs> through all of my texts and emails. And of course, I must ask, first of all, to see in the audience, who is this? Who is here for the first time for a fresh talk? Is this your first? Wow, that's awesome. That's beautiful. And who is this your first time at the museum? Okay, good, okay, good. Well, I want all of our regulars to give our new guests a hand and thank them for coming. Because <laughs> we got a lot of regulars this time, this is good. <laughs> and thank you for everyone that's here and watching online. Your support is invaluable. In addition, I would like to thank our generous donors who their visionary donors and leadership gifts help launch and continue and sustain this initiative. Denise Littlefield Sobel, the ML Dari Family Foundation, Arts Initiative, the Reva and David Logan Foundation, the Swartz Foundation, and the Bernstein Family Foundation. And it is my pleasure that Dan Logan is here today. Thank you. I, <laughs> of course, we have to give him a hand. None of this would be possible. <clears throat> We're able to do this um, and have the um, kind of gathering that we're able to because of what they are, what they, how they've contributed. So thank you. Um, we have a fabulous team that has put together a wonderful evening for you to enjoy. Even though I stand here by myself, only in this moment, I'm not alone. I want to thank my public programs manager. This is our last one together, Alicia Gregory. And so please give her a hand if every detail has gone across her desk. And our stage manager, Beth Ferrero, for being a top-notch team. And also, we have amazing volunteers and amazing intern, Noemi. So we're thrilled at the work we get to do together. And now, to finally introduce the woman who steers this amazing ship, and she does a fantastic job of it, our museum director, Susan Sterling. I should say this, please silence your phones and post with Fresh Talk for Change, thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon and uh, welcome. Uh, just a, a housekeeping uh, matter, for those of you who are new, um, the Fresh Talk uh, happens here in the uh, performance hall, then we go downstairs for Sunday supper, and then we have questions there for our uh, two uh, discussants. So that's how the afternoon runs uh, into 8 o'clock this evening, and uh, we really are looking forward to a terrific uh, afternoon and evening. So I met Sarah Lewis a long time ago, uh, and when I started uh, the, not, not too long ago, she was 13 and I was 28. <laughs> Uh, but uh, importantly, uh, we, when we first started talking about uh, Fresh Talk, and this is our fourth year, uh, two years ago we actually spoke with Sarah about uh, participating fr in Fresh Talk at the museum because she had published her book entitled The Rise, Creativity, the Gift of Failure, and the Search for Mastery. And of course, here at the Women's Museum, the idea of mastery is interesting because, of course, there's also mystery, which has to do with old masters versus old mistresses. But they have totally different <laughs> connotations. 
Um, and that was actually, the, this book, The Rise, was actually what she had originally uh, been invited to speak about. However, since then, Sarah has masterfully edited, edited the landmark vision and justice issue of Aperture Magazine and has created a new primary source for exploring visual literacy and photography's history as a catalyst for change. In today's uh, political and creative climate, where image-driven social media platforms are such an intense part of our everyday lives that they have become lifeblood uh, to many in the United States, it is important to have conversations like this on visual literacy and the power of imagery. Uh, it's extremely timely and it is exceedingly necessary, perhaps more necessary than any time in the past. Sarah Lewis, Assistant Professor of the History of Art and Architecture and African American Studies at Harvard University, is a leading voice on this topic. Her curatorial work in writing emphasized the power of photography in the past and its present and future possibilities. Sarah will be joined by Rhea Combs, Curator of Film and Photography and Director of the Center for African American Media Arts at the National Museum of African American History and Culture. I'm sure she has fun saying that title. <laughs> Uh, through her curatorial work, Rhea has used film and photography to connect a sometimes hidden past to our ever-evolving present, sharing a legacy that is ever-relevant uh, to the world. Prepare yourself, as Milani said, for an engaging dialogue. And when you join us for Sunday supper, please bring your questions and your solutions to share. Uh, Rhea Combs and Sarah Lewis are sure to provide you with additional material as they have their conversation this afternoon. I'd like to turn the stage over to Rhea. Her presentation will be followed by Sarah Lewis's, and then we will be party to a conversation between the two of them that promises to be illuminating on the topic of vision and justice. Thank you. Rhea. Thank you. 